Um, so it's a topic that you're working on right now. Um, this is an adjustable circuit paper. So up to this point, Adam, everything that you learned with Steve and everybody else in the electrical was related to non-adjustable circuit papers. What you see is what you get. 50 amps is 50 amps. Now that doesn't happen in the industry. If you go higher than 1,000 amp, 1,000 amp or higher, 99% of the time, guys, you're dealing with something called adjustable circuit papers. Now adjustable circuit papers, the high end of adjustable circuit papers are called power circuit papers. Um, Looking at right here um, as a circuit breaker, can you, does it look like a foot and a half, maybe by a foot and a half by a foot and a half, right? The size of that circuit breaker, you're looking at it, guys. Inside the circuit breaker, look what you're going to have. I want you guys, you have this written into. First, every circuit breaker, adjustable circuit breaker, is all this information, by the way, for adjustable circuit breaker from 240.6b. So if you think Chad brought this one from his home, this is all coming from. Uh, uh, this is all coming from adjustable circuit breaker 240.6b. All right, here's a box. You're looking at it there, right? Um, first of all, the box itself, that big frame, it's called frame size. The frame size, if they're given color hammer, for example, in uh, uh, 27.1-7, you guys look at the catalog number when you have a chance. If you look at the catalog number of color hammer, it'll give you the frame size of all their their adjustable circuit breakers, frame size. A frame size carrot is just physical fit, the bucket that's going to fit it. That's what a frame size. Okay, frame size, 3,200 amps, means you can fit up to 3,200 amps, not 4,000 in this bucket. This one is 3,200 amps. Then you're going to go sensor size. Sensor size, guys, yeah, what they do inside the frame, they have a, a CT, which is current transformer that goes around the phases and measure. The sensor size is the size of the CT that they have inside the transformer. So inside, inside the, this right here, they have CTs inside there. Because if you put, if you put 3,400 amps through the, the, the sensor, it's going to burn. So what they do is they take the 3,400 amps and put burn it into 5 amps. So these electronic equipment can read it. That's called the sensor. OK, so print size. As 3200, I can sense up to 3200. I decided to sense at 2000. So the frame is the max. Then you can sense up to the max, but you can have plugs. So I'm sensing at 200. Plug, can you see that little plug that you can see here? It says 3000. This means you can unplug this circuit breaker. Literally, there's a little device here. You can unplug it and make the circuit breaker from this is a 3200 amp. Uh, you can, uh, three, no, it's a 3000 amp frame. This is 3,000 amp frame. I can plug here a plug of 1,000 amp, make this circuit breaker of 1,000 amp, or a plug of 600 and make it 600 amp. Now, the plug sizes and the frame sizes and the sensor sizes are listed by the manufacturer. The manufacturer have all this stuff. I don't think this can see it. It says plug 3,000 amp. So that's what the plug here. You can plug this circuit breaker. I Look at this. I, my frame is 32, I decided to sense at 2,000, don't ask me why, because I don't need, and I decided to plug it here at 1,000 amp. Did you guys hear me? Now, this circuit breaker you're looking at is actually 1,000 amp. It's not 32 amps, it's not 2,000 amp, it's a 1,000 amp circuit breaker. It even gets more exciting than that. Then you can go down to a long time pickup. This is what you're looking at, that little edge here, and you guys look at it, what is it? You see that right? You can see that little edge here. Low time pick up, low time delay. Short time pick up, short time delay, instantaneous. Instantaneous. So all these are the, the, the frames for this particular circuit breaker. The adjustment. So I can adjust this circuit breaker. Now it's 1,000, right? I can bring it down to 0.4, which is 400. From 400 to 1,000, I can bring it back. A long time pickup. This is how long will it take the circuit breaker to trip if you have a, if you have an overload. Short time pickup. This will tell you guys in seconds 
how um, uh, the pickup and multiplier here, um, what's the current that this circuit breaker atom is going to be tripping on if you have a short circuit right here? And then we have a short time delay. How long you will delay the short circuit? Instantaneous. That's how, how, how fast your circuit breaker is going to trip and the ground. So every adjustable circuit breaker, guys, did you guys hear me? Every adjustable circuit breaker almost always have these six things on it. You are looking at them right there in front of you. With a screwdriver, Karen, with a screwdriver, I can adjust all these settings. Can you guys see that? With a screwdriver, I can adjust all these settings. There is load time pickup, load time delay, short time pickup, short time delay, instantaneous. Load time pickup, delay, short time pickup, delay, and instantaneous. Who cares? The long time pickup, guys, is for the overload. The delay is how um, the delay for the long time pickup is how long you want to delay that overload condition. Short time pickup is for ground fault and short circuit. How long you want to delay them? And instantaneous is if you have a short circuit, how fast do you want the circuit breaker to try? Any comments? Any questions? Comments? Questions? Does it make sense? Okay. Here's what I would like you next. Um, the circuit breaker that we're going to be using, guys. So um, here is the example. This is going to be on the test on Monday. So I have find the following for an adjustable circuit breaker. I want you guys to find the following for an adjustable circuit breaker. Number one, low time pickup in amps is set at 0.5. So Adam went with his screwdriver and went right in here, guys. The low time pickup right here, low time pickup. Um, and he adjusted that low time pickup into point, uh, point 0.5. Okay, and I would like you to find long time pickup in amps equal long time pickup setting multiplied by the plug amps. And the question for you, I will give you the settings and say, can you find me the amp? I'm giving you the settings, find the amps. Okay, so the long time pickup is set at 0.5. The plug, the plug, guys, my plug is, what's the plug? It's a 1,000 amp. The plug is a 1,000 amp. And the long time, I set the long time is 0.5. Long time pickup in amps is what? You take the settings and multiply by the plug. Okay, so let's go do that. So my settings is set at 0.5, multiplied by a plug a thousand, and that will give you German. If you take a 0.5, that will give you 500 amp. Now, when you set the circuit breaker at 0.5, Derek, this 0.5 long time pickup, this circuit breaker becomes a 500 amp circuit breaker. What you guys need to do on the test is write this formula. You take the long time and multiply it by the plug, whatever the plug is. Uh, the example, guys, is for a circuit breaker that looks like this. This is what the example is that we're doing. My frame is 32, my, sens my uh, uh, sensor is 2,000, my plug is 1,000, and I need to find the trip size. The trip size, I already found it 500. Here's my trip size, 500 amp, right? And I need to size the feeder. I need to size the feeder too. I need to size the feeder. One more time. When you guys put it tweak that circuit breaker down, adjust it to 0.5, the amp lives of this circuit becomes uh, 500 amp. Now here's my question for you, Derek. Look at this. The frame size is 32. The sensor is 2,000, the plug is 1,000, and the trip size is 500. I need to size the feeder. Which amp would you use to size your feeder? Anybody? I have, here's my choice, 3,200, 2,000, 1,000, or 500. Which one would you use? 500. So that big, fat, fluffy circuit breaker that's sitting there turned from a 3,200 circuit breaker into a 3,200 amp down to what? A 500 amp by tweaking the circuit breaker, guys, by tweaking this adjustment on it. Okay, so go size then. We're going to go, guys, size, uh, take the 500 amp right here. 310 of 15B16. What, uh, what size conductor do you need? Two sets, of five, uh, two sets of 250. Two sets of 250, one way, or I decided to be uh, to have one set. Well, you know what? Let's, I like your way. I like parallel. Uh, so let's do parallel. So I'm going to take, um, take. Um, I like, I like what you did because parallel is good. So let's go parallel. So I'm going to take the 500, 500 divided by two, give you 250, 250 amp. Okay. So that will be then that will be two sets, two 
sets of what? Of uh, uh, what? now this, this for, for the whole neutral of four conductors. Number what? What is it? Uh, there, two hundred. Two fifty. Two fifty. Of two fifty kcm thhn. So the size of this conductor is two sets of uh, two fifty. Done. On the test, Adam, I will give you the setting, and I ask you to find the amps. That's all. How hard would that be? Say, Chad, what's your sensor? 2,000. Multiply 0. 0.5 by 2,000. Uh, I'm sorry, the plug. So you have to multiply by the plug. Can you see the word plug here? Write this rule. Okay. That's the first thing. So let me ask you another question, uh, Derek. If I tweak this one to 0. 0.9, what would be the pickup amps? 0. 0.9 times 1,000 is what? 900. So how do you size your feeders then? 900. <laughs> Can you guys see the difference? You size based on the sitting. That's, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see the gravity. That's major. So if you, if you grab a screwdriver right now and go adjust this one, you just burn yourself quicker. You burn your cable. Right? Because the sitting is the same. Right? Because the sitting is the same. You just adjust the frame. Okay. Any comments, guys? Any questions? So every circuit breaker has a frame size. You're looking at it. A sensor, that's the coil that senses the current. And a plug, that's a little plug that put it in the front so they can change it easily. And a trip size, which is the plug multiplied by the sittings. And the sittings that for every circuit breaker guys have a sittings. Um, the sittings is called long time pickup, long time delay, short time pickup, short time delay, instantaneous. And there's also the ground and ground fault and ground fault. All right. So... We found number one. Let's go find a couple of other things, guys. Um, so that's number one. Number two. Okay, so here's the circuit breaker. Um, this is the one that I was going to be using. Can you read it? Can you read it from the sheet that I gave you? Is it easy to read or no? So this is Magnum DS um, RMS, the one that we're going to be using 4,000 long time, short time instantaneous. That's the one that you guys are going to be doing for SKM for the short circuit and for coordination for your friend Chad. Okay, everybody understand that's the one we'll use Tyler Hammer. I want to bring to your attention, we're using Tyler Hammer, we're using Static Trip, we are using Madam Diaz, um, um, uh, RMS uh, 520, and we're using low time, short time, 4,000 amp frame, and a 600 amp volt. That's the one, Adam, that's going to be inside the switch gear in every single circuit picker inside the main panel. Okay, so that's just for FYI. Um, and then when you when you drop that circuit breaker, guys, when you drop that circuit breaker, it's gonna hit your long time pickup. Can you just see you can sit up from 0.4 to 1? This is your long time delay. That's what you're gonna see when we drop these carriers. Long time delay in seconds, short time pickup multiplied by long time pickup. Can you just see the formula here that they do? This is from the software. You take the short time pickup multiplied between 2 and 10 by long time pickup. Short time delay in seconds. Okay. So this is how your circuit, how your adjustable circuit breaker is gonna look like. Something like this when you adjust it. That's your adjustable circuit breaker. Okay. So this is FYI. Um, and on the sitting, this is when you send um, you send it to the electrician so they can install it, guys. You will. This is they're gonna be looking at long time pickup one, long time delay twenty four, short time pickup ten. Short time delay is 0.5. These are the information that you grab a screwdriver here and you come right here. Can you see that? And you start adjust, adjust, adjust each one of these right here. So important to give this information about the circuit breakers. These are the ones that you guys are going to be doing. Look at this one. This one is set up by 200 amp. The plug is loaded. Can you see this is a 4,000 amp sensor? A plug 4,000. This guy here is 2,000, 200 amp plug. Sensor and do an amp plug. You're gonna see you can pick any plug that you need for for your need. Okay. All right. So hopefully that come. Um, you can adjust these guys. You can adjust these like we said to the left. You can adjust these up and down. And by adjusting them, you have just changed these settings. When you adjust them, can you just see the setting is 0 0.6, 24, 8, 0.24. Uh, by adjusting these, you basically maneuver that um, circuit breaker. And the reason why we do this one so we can coordinate circuit breakers together. 
What does that mean, coordinate circuit breakers together? Meaning if you have a short circuit in this light above uh, Adam's head, the one that's going to trip downstairs is not the main switch gear. The panel, the circuit breaker right here in this panel. So it's a big, big deal. All right, so we can adjust them. So if you have a short circuit, for example, right here, here if you have uh, one times, what's my multiplier here? Um, so if you have a 1,000 amp, it looks like one multiplier one. 1,000 amp, guys, it will take a 1,000 amp on this circuit breaker 300 seconds to trip. Look at this. Um, on this um, 1,200, I don't know what the sitting would be. If you guys take, uh, if you take 1,250 and multiply it by 0.6, that would be, can you do that one? What's 1,250 times 0.6? Give me the sitting of this circuit breaker. 1,250 times 0.6, will you? It's like, uh, 750 amp. This circuit breaker, guys, is set to 750. If you have a thousand amp overload in it, a thousand amp overload, look at this. It goes all the way up, 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 up. That's time, time. Up, up, up until it hits that black uh, curve. When it hits that black curve, the circuit breaker works out. I have an overload condition, and the overload condition is 1000. Remember, it's a 1000 right here, 1k. And it will take you how many seconds, Adam, to trip? 300 seconds to trip on an overload. If you have a short circuit right here, a 100,000 amp, that's a short circuit. It will trip within, look at this, 0.05 of a second. 0.05 of a second, bam, trips. If you have a short circuit, can you see that? It wakes up immediately in this area. Here, it takes its time. That's the difference between circuit breakers, guys. The reason that we do the adjustable circuit breakers, they do them this way, because then you can coordinate between these circuit breakers. The last thing you want to do, guys, is you have a, a hospital that you, you're doing coordination for it, and a panel like this, a circuit breaker inside the panel trip the whole uh, main, main service for the hospital. That would be a bad day. Okay? All right, so um, on this side, guys, there's amps. On this side, there's a time in seconds. Time, amps. That's how the curve is that you guys are going to be installing for your friend Chad with SKMPW. All right, so there's your 1250. If you went and you put this, can you see how I would change this one to one on this? Now, this circuit breaker will shift to this side. It becomes 1200. From 700 a second ago, can you see that? From 750 a second ago by putting it at 0.6 into, uh, into a 1250 by shifting it. You guys are going to be doing that one, and we did it for the commercial project. I don't know if you, you remember, but these are more adjustable ones. Okay. And here's the settings that, look at this. When you print, you're going to be printing these reports for me. When you print these reports, guys, here's my 1250 amp, plug at 1200, set at 0.5, so that would be 750 amp, circuit breaker, when you, multiply, when you do the math. And all the settings, these will be given to Mr. Electrician. Mr. Electrician will grab his screwdriver and start adjusting these little dials here. Every, every project that the engineers guys do, which I told everybody else, remember when Nick walked you guys through this? You, you submit a study like this, short circuit, arc flash, and coordination, it's called. This circuit breaker is set at four, can you guys see the sensor is 4,000, the plug is 4,000, the frame, can you guys see the frame? Here's my frame, 4,000. Here's my sensor 4000. Here's my clock 4000. Here's the setting. The setting it's set at one. So what do you think? One times 4000. What do you guys think? Yeah, 4000. This baby is a 4000 amp circuit breaker. Okay, one time pickup. How long do you want to on a on a overload to trip? 24 seconds. Trip after 24 seconds. I could have set it up for two seconds. Okay. Then short time pickup. How long do you want it to trip? Uh, it says it's 10. So look what happened here. If you say 10, you multiply the 10 by um, the 4,000. So this guy is going to trip at uh, 40,000 amp long time pickup. Can you see the math that they do here? They take the long time pickup, which is this value here, in amps, multiply it by whatever you're sitting. I am sitting at 10, I just multiply by 10. Okay, look, short time delay 0.5 seconds. So I wanted to, on short time, to wait only 0.5 of a second before it trips. Okay. So having said that, my friends, uh, we will be doing coordination. There is a couple of coordination curves I would like you to do. 
when we do coordination, we go um, in between like air handling units, we're gonna do some air handling units all the way to the theater here. So we'll be doing, I'll walk you through how to do some of these coordination care. But when you say coordination, when you say coordination, Adam, you take the man of the service with the man of the theater, with the man of the equipment. That's what we're coordinating. Okay, so let's go guys to number two that you need to do. Short time pickup. Short time pickup, if I put my settings at 15, my short time pickup Adam will be 15 times, you guys remember what was the long time pickup in amps? My long time pickup in amps, uh, 500, thank you, it was 500. So my short time pickup then would be 7500 uh, amps. 7,500 amps, meaning if you have a short circuit, start tripping at 7,500 amps. Okay, instantaneous, instantaneous pickup, settings 30 in amps. The instantaneous, guys, when you do instantaneous, it's uh, you take the settings multiplied by the plug amps. So whatever the plug amps is. So I have 30 multiplied, what was the plug amp on this one? Thousand, thank you, a thousand. So this guy is going to be 30K. Instantaneous wise, it's going to trip at 30k. So for the test, Matt, write these formulas for you. If Chad wants me to do the instantaneous, I have to multiply whatever he gave me here, the settings, by the plug. <laughs> right? If Chad wants me to find the short time pickup, I have to multiply whatever he gave me at the settings by what? The long time pickup in amps. That's all. All right, instantaneous time to open the circuit breaker. They call it instantaneous. They put them in seconds, in cycles. So what is it? 20 cycles in second? Anybody knows what a 20 cycles in second? 20 cycles in second answer is you take the 20 and divide it by what? 60, right? That's what a cycle is. 20 divided by 60, that will give you, it's going to open in point, uh, 3, 3, 3, 3 second. So on the test, I will tell you the instantaneous is set at 15 cycles. How many seconds will it take it to trap? You take the 15 and divide it by what? 60. A quarter. Can you see that? These are the four things that you're going to see on the test. On the test. I will ask you guys to find the long time pickup on amps. That's 500. Then the short time pickup on amps. That's this one. And the instantaneous trip in amps. That's... I will change the 30 into a number, and you do the math here. See how the math is easy on these? Very easy math. Okay, so my friends, then what I would like you to do, the last thing is homework number 15. The last homework I'm going to do with your friend, Chad. You can do it right away and give it to me. Um, Adam, here, I give you a circuit breaker. The frame is 400. The sensor is 3,000, the plug is 2,000. I would like you guys to find the following. Trip, long time pickup in amps. The trip and the long time pickup in amps. So, uh, knowing that the long time pickup is 0.5, short time pickup is 10, instantaneous 25, uh, um, 25, instantaneous delay is 30 cycles, and size the feeder, size the feeder. So, and you size the feeder. Can you guys do that for me? Can you? So I would like you guys to find the trip, long time pickup, and so find the four things. Find the four things that we did. So we, we need the trip. So number one was going to be trip, trip amp. And number two, and with it will be the uh, theater size. Theater size, the theater size. Number three, uh, long time pickup, uh, so we did long time pickup, short time, short time pick up in amps. Uh, number four, um, instantaneous, instantaneous in amps. And number five is instantaneous uh, in the seconds. Instantaneous delay in seconds. That's what we've done these. Okay? Homework 15, remember guys, 10 points for the homework, very easy piece of cake. Any comments, guys, any questions? Any comments, any questions? 
Here's my question for you. Are you guys ready for the coordination or would you like to do a coordination tomorrow? I don't have a, I can give you today to finish your short circuit and fill your stuff and, and we can do the coordination tomorrow together or I can do it after and then 15 minutes or I can walk you individual if you're ahead. Do you need more time to run your stuff or do you need me to walk you through doing some coordination? It's up to you. Individually? Okay. When you're ready, when everybody's ready, are you guys? Uh, it's uh, Adam is used almost ready. The ready, uh, Derek. Ready? Are you ready for yours? Okay, uh, Karen, is your riser ready? The short circuit, dark flash. No. Okay. Um, let me. Do you guys mind? Um, do you have things to do? You have other things to do, Matt, Adam. I can walk you individual. It doesn't matter. I can walk you individual. Um, let me walk you individual there. So how to do the coordination? Okay. So that's basically we're gonna go pick a couple of circuit breakers and we we'll do coordination for them. Really nothing, nothing, uh, uh, nothing. A whole lot of fancy with that. Okay. Let me see how we can go. All right. Thanks. Uh, give me one second here.